he wanted to know what was the condition of the pasture, which kind of introduced me to soils that were really horrific and would grow nothing but weeds versus other farmers that really were doing a good job. And I didn't think about these things in a scientific manner yet. But that question of why is one person's field gorgeous and beautiful and the grass is all kinds of forbs and herbs and wonderful things and the cows are fat and happy versus right next door, there's this other field that's nothing but weeds. What's going on here? So I'm not comfortable really with telling other people what they should be doing to fix their health. Although, of course, I am now doing that sort of thing because what's in your soil is what has to get into your digestive system. And it's got to, the biology is what determines the nutrients that are in your foods. So yeah, kind of the back doorway to help people become healthy. Soil scientists who haven't read a book since they left graduate school, they're still mired back in this inappropriate understanding of what's actually going on in soil. They have no clue. Yeah, they never questioned the discrepancy between what the microscope was telling them and what plate counts were telling them. Yeah, just completely right over the top of their head. You can't be sustainable if you're constantly battling pests and disease fungi and root knot nematodes and all the bad guys. That's not sustainable. So you can't be sustainable if you've got a lot of weeds that come up every year. It That's just, you're not paying attention to the messages that Mother Nature is sending them. So how do you know if the organisms in the compost that you're buying are the ones that work in your conditions? You buy locally. So we want lots and lots and lots of farms. Every county ought to have its bio-complete compost facility. So their starting materials are all from the local area with the local organisms on it. And all the proper conditions are maintained during that composting process so that you're selecting for just the beneficials and not the bad guys. So that's kind of our intellectual property. And you're saying rotation isn't necessary if you have the right life in your soil appropriate to the crop you're growing. Yep, absolutely no reason. Disease factors is one reason for why you have to rotate. And so if you've got a lot of diseases happening, it's kind of like Mother Nature trying to tell you that you don't have your food web in place yet. You don't have the microorganisms present in your soil. So get busy and fix that so you don't have to do a rotation.